hello everyone welcome to my video so in today's video we will learn about htmx and we will write some code of htmx and we will use node.js and express.js as a server and htmx as a front end so before going to write the code let me show you some overview about htmx so htmx is, is a javascript library which is uh, with the help of htmx you your html can directly make http request okay so in this diagram you can see if we use htmx with html then html will be able to directly make http request to the server and then server will send http server will send some updated html and then th that html will be directly replaced in our code in in our dom basically in html so this is the approach so we don't need to use any javascript framework in that uh, uh, that scenario this is the htmx website official website so as you can see as of now all the anchor and form tags can do the http request right like this but now with the help of htmx you can you can enable any uh, any dom any element to make a http request directly so in this case button so button on button click you can create H hx post here okay like this this is the api name so you, you using htmx you can directly uh, hit the server i will i will show you the code then you will be easily understand that so guys this is this is a blank folder i created this is htmx with express so because in in case of htmx we have to involve server walls also because there is no framework as a front end framework as such so everything every calculation and everything will be done on server only so we have to create a server first of all so we will use uh, express server for this and we will use we will use htmx as a front end and uh, express server as a back end right so first of all we have to implement express server quickly so let me uh, let me uh, try to create a server okay first of all we will initiate uh, npm init why i guess why okay so there is a package json this is the default package json it created okay so now after this package json i have to in, uh, install some dependency also so i will install npm install express now i have to install the express npm ex install as express okay guys node modules are there express is installed now okay as a dependency now we have to install a htmx also npm install htmx okay so as you can see htmx is also installed so now we are ready to use these both technologies right so first of all we will create a server ht uh, express server now so i will add a file this is uh, called server dot js okay guys so this is this is server ba server js basically okay guys so we have created our server so let me try to run this server now so before that we have to add a script in our package json so let me add a script here it uh, it will be start then node server dot dot js okay this will be the script for us so let me try to run this script now npm start okay guys our server is running and close 3000 okay guys so our server is running perfectly fine so guys our server is running so now we will uh, add a public folder because we have to insert our htmx in in public folder also so i will create a public folder public then inside this public i will create a uh, create a file index.html okay and inside this index.html like i will create a simple html so guys i have created a simple html skeleton so in inside this html i have added this script and then this htmx dot min mini js file uh, inside our html okay so now i will try to create uh, write some htmx code okay for this <coughs> okay so first of all uh, i will say uh, this is h1 the name will be htmx example okay then this is the most important part guys 
so keep your eyes here guys now we will add h2 tag h2 here carbon counter will be there and then inside this uh, there will be span okay and span will be uh, initial value will be zero okay and for this h2 tag i have to give the id i will show you why we need this id okay then in the next thing we have to create a button okay this button will uh, increase the counter for this button basically uh, first of all increment counter okay this is the button now what we have to do guys uh, so now we have to use htmx here here starts the htmx part basically so we have to uh, on clicking of this button we have to uh, uh make some http request right so we have to use hx hx get okay then now uh slash api slash increment uh we will create increment as a name of the api okay then now we have to use second attribute from h uh, htmx so hx hx swap okay hx swap we will say that we have to swap the code whatever coming from the server uh, we, we have to swap the code with inner html okay inner html of which so we have to give target also so this is the target as target so we have to give target now this is the target will be counter okay so let me show you uh, how it works so it is saying we have it is saying the clicking of this button hx get okay make a get request on this api okay when you click on this button then whatever response comes from the backend just swap this response with the inner html of target counter okay id counter okay so whatever dom element with the id counter is there so the response will be swapped with the inner html of that target okay whatever comes from the server it will replace the inner html of the target that is target is counter okay so now we will try to do that so now we have uh, created htmx now we have to do some updation in our server also okay so this is a plain normal server now so we have to uh, make an api call also for the server okay let me show you okay first of all uh, we have to create a counter okay initial value will be zero from the counter okay now we have to uh, serve the static file from the public folder so we will use app.use express dot static so we will serve static file from uh, this public folder right so we have to give it public here public okay this is the public okay now we have to create an api call also api increment if you remember the name so api dot get and the name of the api should be api slash increment okay then a callback function with request and response So, okay so in this api call we will increment the counter by one value now we will use uh, we will update our uh, html const updated html uh, this uh, updated html we, we need to copy from here because we will replace this as it is okay so now we will copy this and paste here like this okay now stringify it now this is the counter zero so we have to give it a dynamic value according to our counter okay sorry this should be for the template string right okay so now this is our updated html every time with the new counter okay this html will be uh, sent to the front end 
ओके नाउ एज ए रिस्पॉन्स रिस्पॉन्स डॉट सेंड वी विल सेंड दिस अपडेटेड एच डी एम एल लाइक दिस ओके सो सो लेट मी लेट मी शो यू बट इट इज डूइंग सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए काउंटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल काउंटर वैल्यू विल भी जीरो इनिशियली एंड हेयर वी आर सेंग दैट एप विल यूज ए स्टेटिक फाइल्स फ्रॉम पब्लिक फोल्डर ओके देन एच टी एम एल एच टी एम एल विल भी रीड फ्रॉम पब्लिक फोल्डर एंड देन वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस ए पी आई दिस ए पी आई नेम इज ए पी आई स्लैश इंक्रीमेंट ओके इफ इफ समन हिट दिस ए पी आई दिन ऑन द गैट रिक्वेस्ट सो दिस this call by function will be called and this call inside this call by function we are increasing the counter value by one value and then we are updating this one value in a in in a uh, html part of html and then we are sending back this html part as a uh, response to the front end and then front end will use that part directly in, in, to show to the user right so let me show you let let's let me try to run it again Okay, guys. So now, uh, now our server is running again. So let me show you how. This is our three thousand server. So let me try to hit this this button. Okay, it is working fine. So let me show you how it is doing in network tab. So if you see when I hit this increment counter, so an API request is getting uh, going going to the server, right? if if i open this this is the api request api slash increment okay this is the get request and as a response i am getting this one h2 this new counter right every time i am getting new counter so whole html is coming from uh, from the back end and then as that html is being used here in uh, in this html here so new html is replacing this one because we are saying whatever whatever coming from uh, from the this api so we will replace the, uh, re we will uh, use the target the, this is the target target element will be in the counter and we have to replace the inner html of that target with the new data coming from the backend so this is the data flow inside in case of htmx htmx we are doing calculation and everything in the backend and then we are sending the data from uh, backend to server right if you see we are clicking and we are making http request every time when we click on this counter so htmx use server to make a calculation and do the all the things and uh, like front end is totally dumb and it just replace the data whatever is coming from the backend is i hope you got some idea how can we write the, the code in htmx uh, basically as similar to react js but we have to involve the server also in case of htmx so i hope you like this video and if you like this video please comment your opinion in the comment section and uh, watch my other videos as well and if you like the channel then subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share with your friends i will see you in my next video thank you so much bye bye